Good evening, y'all. I thought we might spend the evening playing a game together. Or rather, I would play a game and you'd watch or listen however you like. But uh, in any way, I, uh, I wanted to show you this. It's a, it's a dice game. It's a free from the internet printed it off it's called delve the dice game and it's played with uh, six regular six-sided dice i'm just gonna place them down here and the game is sort of a a dungeon crawler combined with Yahtzee style uh, dice rolling, meaning uh, for every round you uh, roll these six dice up to three times and uh, choose which dice you want to keep and which you want to discard or, uh, or not use. And, uh, in this game, we're playing four different characters. We're playing a fighter, a rogue, a cleric, and a wizard. So we have the classic archetypes of, uh, of role-playing games represented here. And this is really a, a very simplified role-playing game or, or dungeon crawler and uh, by the way yes i am using this very fancy demon pencil for tonight for recording uh my progress i thought it was uh thought it would be fitting so um well these uh these characters here um, they had different abilities based on uh, based on which dice rolls you uh, you do. Uh, you can use sixes. You can use ones. You can do a full house, um, three of a kind, straight of four, those kind of things. So the regular rolls you kind of aim for in Yahtzee, you aim for those here as well. But uh, the difference is that here they trigger. The, uh, the fighting abilities of our little cast of fantasy characters here. So, uh, so I think without further ado, let's just uh, let's just get right into it, and uh, and I guess I'll talk a little bit more about the rules as we uh, as we go along. So it's played in in rounds. Um, first of all, there are six. Um, Rounds of rounds of battle, and then sort of a, a pause or a, or a relief station in between, and uh, yeah, the first uh, the first room, the first uh, area we uh, we explore is this one right here, and there are a number of raiders here. It says one to six raiders, and uh, I, I get to roll a dice to uh, roll a die to determine the number of raiders. Okay, so let's do that. Two, okay, that's a very, very fine number of raiders, two raiders. I think we can just, just about manage that. Okay. Okay, just gotta replenish my, uh, my resources here for the first battle. Let's do this. Wish me luck. Okay, so we have a one, a two, a one. Just place that here. Two ones, a two, a three, a four, and a five. So um, right away we have um, a straight of five. Um, 
that's an ability of the cleric. And the description of that ability is, uh, is called heal. Heal the amount of the sixth dice. Um, so, well, it's the first round. And none of my characters have, have taken any damage yet. So I'm not gonna, really going to be using that. Uh, it's not going to do any good. Um, I have these, uh, these two ones here. And one of the abilities of the rogue is he can do a, a sneak attack, is called, and they activate with a one. And uh, so they do uh, one damage each of these. So uh, I'm going to save those. It says any number of ones can be used, but only against a single opponent. Okay, single opponent. So we can use these against one of the raiders. And um, let's see, I don't know if I'm going to. No, I'm just going to re-roll them all. Let's see. Okay. Um, let's see. Maybe we'll just use another one. And we'll use these three against one of the raiders. And then we have two, three, four. So, um, yeah. Can't really do anything with that, so... Let's roll for the third time and hope we get some something useful. Okay, so we have two threes, and um, the rogue also has a uh, another ability is called crippling strike. Um, it says the sixth dice is the damage inflicted against a single opponent. So actually have that here and it's a really good uh, attack since the six dice is this which is six but um, since i can only use this attack against a single opponent and i have two opponent two opponents here and they each only have three points of uh, health that won't really do any good so i'm just going to use these three ones here to do three points of damage one two three to one of the raiders and then I'm going to use this six here to activate the fighters charge attack this does one damage as well so we'll mark that off right here one two three so that's one raider down and he was sneak attacked by the rogue and then the uh, the other raider he gets charged by the fighter and loses one point of health okay so now this final raider, he gets to attack me as well, of course. Um, the enemies, they attack with one die for every active point of health they have left. So that's two dice in this case. Okay. And um, the raiders, they hit on a five or a six. And um, this raider... He, uh, he rolled a six, so he does one point of damage, and uh, I'm so lucky I get to distribute the damage to uh, to whoever of the characters I wish. And uh, in this case, I think the, uh, the fighter is going to get the damage because he's the toughest of my characters. He has six points of health, so he can withstand six points of damage. Okay, now it's time for the next round. If I should just go with with a safe here, or uh, or try something fancy, I think I'll just go go safe, and uh, I only need need to inflict two points of damage in this in this round. So I'll just save the six here and hope that I roll another six or another one, and then I'll I'll be home free for these raiders, and I did roll both a one and a six so so that's pretty good i'm gonna let the let the fighter do the fighting this time and uh, use these two sixes as two charge attacks and we'll charge the final raider like that and uh and he's gone okay so uh, that's the uh that's the first of the six enemies. And uh, let's 
see what the next room holds for us next. So we just trace the path here and we see we come upon 30 scorpions. It says for the first round only six scorpions attack and at the end of each round add six more scorpions until all 30 have entered battle. Okay, so uh, I guess we should uh, we should get to it. Wizard is a is an interesting character. Oh, maybe if we could get if we could get four of a kind, that would be very nice. That does um, uh, one damage to each opponent, and since the scorpions only have one point of health, that would be very nice. That would just wipe them all out. Um, but we only have two two of a kind here and we have a one and a six here and these are guaranteed to hit mm, let's see let's see so should i go for four of a kind with that or should i stay safe mm, i mean i can't really use these if if we don't if we don't do anything maybe i'll just maybe i'll save the one and the six and I'll also save the two twos in the... hope to roll okay so i rolled a one which i potentially could use i think i'll save that and um okay we'll just we'll go with that Okay, and a five, so that's really no good there. That means these two are wasted. Uh, I can't use them for anything, but I can use the one, the one, and the six to do a uh, sneak attack, two sneak attacks, and one charge. So that's three points of damage. I'll just mark that off right here. One, two, three. Okay, and now we have this is the first round, so only these these scorpions attack me, and there are three of them left. Left, so I'll roll um, three dice. Okay, and they only hit on a six, and they rolled one six. So uh, I guess this time we'll let the rogue take the hit like that. Okay. And, uh, and in the second round, we are fighting now nine scorpions. twos, two fours, and two fives. Unfortunately, with these characters, um, none of their attacks are activated by pairs. That would be nice, though, um, if one of them had an attack that was activated by three pairs, but um, sadly, they don't. We have a full house, or we have three, four, five, six of a kind. We have straights. Um, and in and of themselves, none of these, uh, none of these do anything. So maybe if we just go for, uh, go for, uh, three or four of a kind, um, I think we'll do that. And, uh, I'll pick the fives just because they're the, uh, highest number. Okay, and I rolled one more five. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, I'll try and go for uh, 
go for another five. Oh, no. No luck, unfortunately. Uh, however, I did roll a one and a six, so uh, that's two points of damage to, uh, to these scorpions here. One and two, and uh, three of a kind. That means the wizard can, uh, can deal his uh, Ray of Frost spell. And the effect of that is I roll two less dice for the monsters this round. So instead of uh, seven dice, I only roll five dice. Which is good, because if I had to roll seven dice, I'd have to, uh, to get out some other dice, and uh, it wouldn't match this, uh, this nice wooden pair I have here. So uh, let's hope we, can, we don't get to that. It's now rolling for the scorpions. Okay, and three, three, two, five, four. Okay, so none of them hit. That is very, very nice. That means I get to attack them again with impunity. There's one uh, disadvantage of this uh, cloth uh, bag here. That is sometimes the dice, they uh, they kind of land a little bit crooked. So, uh, so that's why I'm, uh, I'm adjusting them a little bit here. I'm not cheating or anything, that's just the way they roll. Okay, so uh, let's see what kind of damage we can do. Um, again, we have two fives, we also have two ones, and we have a six. So, um, oh, I think I should probably remember to mark this for now fighting. Oh, I think I forgot to mark something off, didn't I? Or did I? I think I did. Hmm. Let's see, what did I just roll? I don't think I marked it off properly before. Oh, I, uh, I can't really remember. The video will, will tell me, but uh, by then it'll, it will be too late. Okay, just uh, be honorable and, uh, and not change anything. Okay, so uh, so let's see. I think I'll, I'll just save these. And um, I could go for the full house, but that's a damage against a single opponent, so that's no good. Okay, I'll do this. Okay, and this I can't use for anything. And, okay, so we have three of a kind here. And that means I could use those to uh, roll two less dice for the monsters, but I can also use them. Um, um, oh, actually, I can't do that. I can't use them against the scorpions like that. Uh, they can only be used against a single opponent. Hmm, so do I want to deal one point of damage, or do I want to roll two less dice? I think, okay. I think we'll just do this and um, mark two points of damage here, like this, and like this. Okay, but that means now that there are six, nine, uh, eleven scorpions, uh, they roll eleven dice, so that's, uh, that's quite a lot of dice this time. But instead of, uh, instead of getting out more dice. I think I'll just roll these um, a couple more times. So I'll record the, uh, the damage in between. Okay, they hit on a six and there are no sixes here. So that's fine. I'll roll five more. So that's 11 total. And there are no sixes here as well. That's awesome. Okay, so uh, I get to roll again, and now we are fighting almost all of the scorpions. <clears throat> okay, we have one and 
and six. That's the usual. And we also have, actually, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that is a strain of six. That's the cleric's ability. That's called a miracle. Uh, with that, I can resurrect dead adventurers and restore all party members to full health. Well, that's unfortunate that I didn't roll that uh, somewhat later in the game. Or that... Um, well, anyway, I've only taken two points of damage so far, so I'm not going to be using that for that. Um, and straight of five. Yeah, that's also just a healing ability. So I don't think I want to use that, uh, use the cleric's ability just yet. I'll instead save the six and the one and uh, re-roll the rest and hope I get the... Um, Four of a kind. That would be awesome. Okay. Um, I'll save the six here. And I'll hope I get two more sixes. Even though it's improbable. Yeah, that didn't happen. So, uh, three points of damage here. I'll just use those. Okay, but now we have 6, 12, 14 scorpions attacking. And six dice here. So four for the first six scorpions. And no sixes. For the next six scorpions. Sorry for the glitch there. My camera went out just a moment. But we are now fighting six, twelve, eighteen, twenty scorpions. They are all out now. So uh, let's see what we can't uh, do about them. Do about them. I think we should go for. Hmm, Okay, I was going to say go for four of a kind, but um, the dice aren't really with me. Mm. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to, yeah, I don't know. That's not really doing much to save this one and do a single point of damage. Mm. But, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll do it. I'll just hope to get lucky. Okay, I did not get lucky there. Um, well, I get uh, I got six uh, straight of six, but that's again that's the uh, resurrect spell, and I haven't any haven't any dead adventurers yet. So can't really take advantage of that. And well, this feels sort of oh. excuse me, I dropped the dice. There we go. Okay, wow, this is really, really no good. No good is this mm -hmm. I think um, I think rather than um, just using two damage points here I'll take the six and uh, transform these ones here to a uh, straight of four three four five six straight of four and uh, that means the cleric, he gets to uh, to heal two damage points. And uh, we'll just heal the fighter here by erasing, like so. And do a single point of damage and kill the one scorpion. So, 
Now the dreaded scorpions, they get to roll 19 dice. Oh my god. Okay, a single six here. So that's one there. Sixes here. So that was twelve. And no sixes here as well. That was eighteen. So now just uh, one more. And not a six as well. Okay, good. So even though there were uh, nineteen, nineteen. Scorpions, I only took a single point of damage. Now let's uh, let's do some real damage. Okay, I like this. I rolled three twos. I'll save these and hope for uh, hope for just if I get just one more, uh, one more two. That means the wizard he can do a chain lightning and do one point of damage to each of my 19 opponents. So, fingers crossed. Okay, nothing here. And if this fails, I will probably do no damage at all. And, okay, it did fail. Um, however, I rolled one and a six, and you know what that means, the fighter and the rogue get to uh, get to deal one damage each get to kill one scorpion each like so and well for these uh, three of a kind that means the wizard he can do ray of frost and that means roll two less dice for the monsters in this round so that means I will only roll 15 <laughs> 15 dice for the monsters so the first six, no sixes here, one six, and the fighter will take that, and that was twelve, so one, two, three, dice more. No sixes here. Just aim for those, um, those four of a kind again. Okay, a couple of sixes here. I'll just, uh, I'll just save those. Mm -hmm. um, should I also save the ones? But they can only. No. Okay, I just. Just go for a lot of sixes, and um, if I don't roll any more, at least I can use these two to get two points of damage. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I actually rolled um, well, five of a kind here, but I'm only going to use four of a kind. That's the wizard's chain lightning spell. One damage to each opponent. Just one point of damage to each of my 15 scorpions here. Oh, I forgot to mark the two points of damage before. That's done now. Oh my god, this is so satisfying. This is so, so satisfying. Imagining the wizard's chain lightning springing, igniting the scorpions. Very, very good. Okay, that was uh, that was the thirty scorpions. That was uh, that was kind of a a very very long drawn out battle against the scorpions. Now. Just uh, 
a sip of water here to uh, to brace myself for the next battle. Okay, so the next battle we go to is the sandstorm. The sandstorm, and it says roll six dice three times. For each six rolled, take one damage. Okay, so that's a bit simpler than, uh, than these thirty scorpions here. Boy, that really uh, that almost knocked the wind out of me rolling so many times. But uh, for this one, my uh, my fighters, uh, my adventurers, won't even get to roll. They can't attack a sandstorm. Um, by the way, this uh, this adventure is called the Sands of Time. Oh, <laughs> um, just do like that. Okay, for each six roll, take one damage. Luckily, no sixes were rolled here. Okay, one six. I'll remember that. And another six, so that's two points of damage. I'll just uh, deplete the fighter almost totally. So that's five points of damage to the fighter and only one point of health left. Okay, but um, on the other hand, we are now past the first three enemies and we get to, uh, to progress to the next stage. Luckily, the next stage isn't an enemy at all. What we find here is an abandoned fortress. An abandoned fortress where you roll a die and that die determines what we find in this fortress here. Very, very exciting. It says here, two. You rolled a two. That's this one here. Healing waters requires cleric. And we still have our cleric here says heal all living party members fully mm, so um does that mean we do that now or is that an uh, that an ability or potion i think i'm gonna treat that as a as a potion that i that i have in my in my bag now and uh, that i can just pull out at any moment Okay, so uh, that was very, very nice. We found those healing waters there. And we just move on to the next one. This one is called the Ankeg. It is a sort of um, uh, sort of an insect-like creature, uh, sort of a, a beetle with a very tough shell. I imagine it's pretty gigantic if it's fighting both a fighter, a rogue, a cleric, and a wizard. It suddenly bursts out of the desert sand and attacks them. Okay, and... Uh, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points of health here. And it says, if it is still alive after the first round, it burrows and will attack again along with the next encounter. It will attack again along with the next encounter. So, uh, so it's very important that we kill it in one round here. So um, I, 
can, uh, I can tell you that in order to do that, we have to get six of the kind for the wizard to do his demise spell. Okay, that, uh, that did not happen. We did get four of a kind though. Um, so that's one damage to each opponent, but there's only one opponent here. So should I go for the, uh, go for five of a kind? That's six damage. Mm, let's see, let's see. I think I'll do it. I think I will do that. And uh, if it works, it works. And if it doesn't work, then I move on to the next round and yeah. We'll see what happens in the next round. I'll just set these four twos aside. Okay, I did not roll that when I needed. Okay, okay, okay. That was um, not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. Um, I could use these as four of a kind. That does just one point of damage. I could also use them as three of a kind. And then I get to roll two dice less for monsters this round. But since this Ankeg, this creature, this beetle borrowing creature, um, just, well, it borrows in, and to the ground after I attack it. I guess, um, yeah, it won't be attacking me, so I can't, don't get to use that ability. So, um, yeah, I'll use the four of a kind and uh, do a single point of damage. Okay, I think uh, at this point, after seeing the egg egg, Borrowing into the ground and fearing its gruesome return, um, my cleric will disperse his healing waters and heal all living party members fully. Okay, so I'll take my magical eraser here, heal the cleric, heal the fighter. The rogue. They sorely need that. I'll also heal myself. Okay, so after this has burrowed into the ground, we shall continue until we run upon two monstrous centipedes. These centipedes, they hit on a five or a six. They only have eight in health, but unfortunately I know that when it is time to attack, the fearsome Ank Hag will burrow out of the ground again and, uh, and come to the centipede's aid. So, um, so I think it's pretty important that we uh, destroy them imminently. Let's see what we can do. Do we have three of a kind? We have a pair, two pairs, a six. Mm, that's not really doing much. I guess we'll save the six there. I think I'll save those. Yep, save those and roll the final time. And hope I get, um, hope I get two twos. Yep. Or two sixes, that would also be nice. I didn't get any of that. I get a one, I can use that to do a 
a sneak attack with the rogue and a charge attack with a six here. So um, these will do. Um, well, um, let's just say they attack this one here. And we'll attack both of the both of the centipedes with one point, and the uh, the wizard he will deal ray of frost. That means I get to roll two less dice for the monsters in this round because of these three of a kind. Okay, and uh, at this point the ag hag burrows out of the ground and attacks my four adventurers along with the monstrous centipedes. So that is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen dice I have to roll. And they hit on a five or a six. So that could be pretty devastating here. Okay, that's two points of damage right there. Uh, let's do the cleric like that. And that's almost two more points of damage. Let's do the fighter. He'll take those. That's 12. That means um, three more. So I took quite a lot of damage in that round. And, um, yeah. So I could be looking at using a healing spell here. Or uh, just seeing what kind of rolls the dice will give me. Okay, I have a six. I have one, two two fours and a five. Well, yeah, that uh, doesn't give me a lot to work with. I'm tempted just to save these two and be guaranteed two points of damage. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm lacking a three in the middle to do maximum healing here, but um, I think I could probably withstand one more round and then go for healing in the next round without losing any uh, any of my guys. So uh, I'll do this uh, for now. Okay, one, can use that, and shall I have one, two, three, no, that's no good, I'll just go for broke. Okay, two ones more, um, it says any number of ones can be used, but only against a single opponent, so that's fine, that's fine, I'll use these four ones to attack the egg egg four points here three four points and this one here um, I guess uh, I'll attack one of the centipedes there okay so now they attack with only five nine dice okay so I will roll six dice start. Oh, of course they roll three points of damage there. That's not good. Not good at all. Okay, now I can only, yeah, bear one point of damage more before losing one of my adventures. Oh, and I only roll three dice more. Okay, so finger 
fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Oh my god. Yeah, that did not work out. Okay, I have to lose one. I have to choose which of my four adventurers should die now. It can't be the cleric. I need the cleric to uh, to heal the rest, and that's what I need to go for now. Um, so, I mean, the wizard he's he's powerful. If you roll the right kind of dice, and the fighter and the rogue, they're sort of similar. And um, I guess I'll uh, I'll kill off the rogue. I think. Do that. Say goodbye to you. Perhaps only temporarily, if I can get to uh, resurrect him. Let's see. Now I know that uh, I have to go for a straight. No matter how I roll. Okay. I didn't roll that well. One, two, three. If I get a straight of four, I heal two damage. If I get a straight of four, I can heal the amount on a six dice. If it is a one, heal all winning party members fully. Okay. So I have, basically, I have to go for, for the maximum number that I can. Hope, hope to get a four here. Fours, just uh, one and a six per. Oh, actually, my rogue is dead, so I can't even use the, the one here. I can only use the six to do a single charge attack, and uh, I'll do that on the egg egg. And um, yeah, that means they now get to attack with an eight dice. Three adventurers, and they all have just a single point of health left. That's not, not good. Oh my god, what are the odds here? They just rolled one six, two six, four, uh, three six, four sixes, and a five. So they, uh, the, uh, the monstrous centipedes and the ank egg just completely destroys, devours my, uh, my party of adventurers. They take out the wizard. They take out the cleric. This pains me. And they take out the fighter. And, uh, yeah, basically, uh, so that's it. That was uh, that was as far as I got in this uh, in this adventure. The sands of time. We managed with the fighter, the rogue, the cleric, and the wizard to defeat the two raiders up here. The thirty scorpions. They really took the wind out of us. A sandstorm. Got some healing water at the abandoned fortress. That really, really helped. But uh, this egg keg and the monstrous centipedes, those were, uh, yeah, those were the ones that, that really did it. So uh, I guess we will uh, we'll call this a night. Just uh, pack up my dice here. In the, in the bag here. it if you did you can find uh, Del the dice game by uh, by searching for it and uh, it's a free print and play 
So uh, you can just download the rules and uh, the adventure sheets for free and, and legally. And there are also more adventures than just the sands of time. There are also, in fact, uh, more different heroes that can activate different abilities. So um, maybe I'll uh, I'll play another adventure uh, at one time in the future. But um, in the meantime, I think I'll be uh, I think I'll be signing.